Hi there. Another quick vegetable variety review. This is a new plant for us this year. Lady Murasaki Komatsuna. Um, we've grown Komatsuna quite a bit in the past and um, it's uh, a nice fast growing Asian green in the Chinese cabbage family. Um, usually it's often called mustard spinach which is one of those stupid anglicized um, bastard names really but I mean Komatsuna is what it's called in Japan and you know texturally it isn't that dissimilar from spinach but it is you know flavor wise pretty much identical to tatsoi or pak choy or Chinese cabbage but um, yeah Lady Murasaki is rather unique in that it is this intense dark purple and the other awesome thing about it is it is an open pollinated variety I got this from Fedco Seeds and I mean I cannot confirm yet that it is open pollinated I have not saved seed from this and um, proven to myself that it is uh, fertile and um, indeed an OP, but I pretty much trust Fedco on that one. It's not something they would lie about, and they're not a company that would lie. I mean, my issues with Fedco is they're kind of sloppy, but they wouldn't lie. And if in a, in a situation where uh, a company might lie about whether a variety is hybrid or an open pollinated variety, it would be the other way. It's not un unheard of that seed companies might tell you that an OP was a hybrid, because then they can charge uh, a hybrid price for an open pollinated uh, product. So they're, you know, getting a little premium for nothing there. But that's not the kind of thing that I would ever expect to be happening from Fedco. And uh, so I'm pretty confident that this is indeed an OP. And that opens up all kinds of possibilities if you're a breeder, because this is, this is the first uh, Asian green of this type that I'm a, with this intensely purple color that's anything like this. Uh, Lady Murasaki is a very classic standard Komatsuna shape very similar to Tatsoi you know it's like or Pak Choi you know it's like this small rosette with you know very fast growing um, compact little plant so it lends itself to breeding with pak choys and with tatsoys and creating all kinds of interesting things and one idea that i've had as soon as i started growing this is my one of my favorite crops is senposai which you can see my senposai video um show you my card and senposai is a cross between european cabbage and komatsuna green komatsuna so what instantly occurred to me which is the interspecies cross so there are a little bit of challenges there but what occurred to me instantly is you could cross Lady Murasaki with something like Mammoth Red Rock and create a red Senposai and that is exciting I would love to have a red Senposai and uh, so I think that's a project for the future but like if you are interested in breeding brassicas Lady Murasaki man the because the thing is there have been purple Asian greens before but they've all been hybrids and the hybrid Asian greens are all CMS they all have uh, cytoplasmic male sterility and it's also cell fusion CMS so that means that the chloroplasts in the hybrid are from usually I think endive so they've actually done this you know sort of in vitro lab technique where they like does you know take a cell wall or take a single cell of the plant and then dissolve the cell wall and then they like jab it with a needle and actually suck out the chloroplast and then they jab it with another needle and insert chloroplast from a different species which ends up creating a male sterile plant um no that's not what they do they don't inject this the, the chloroplast then they fuse a cell that they've removed the nucleus of and so but maintained the um anyway 
it's this weird technique and like so those plants are like partially damaged you know they're sterile and it's great for them because they can keep producing uh hybrid seed but that you can't breed with them um so uh this is an op it's very exciting and it's very very purple so yeah i'm just really and it sells well and it's popular with our customers so far we've only been bringing it to market just a little while but um it's a brilliant colored beautiful little plant and i have high hopes for it you know as a market variety for for right now and for a future breeding projects you know down the road so yeah really exciting just beautiful beautiful stuff um and it's very very purple from the moment it germinates it's just got really intense purple genetics so it's really really cool one thing when you're cooking with this stuff um the the red pigments the anthocyanin pigments do leach out into other foods and the other thing is the cabbage type anthocyanin pigments are very uh ph sensitive you know if you've ever used like um uh those little pH papers where the color change happens from pink to blue depending on the pH of the solution you dip it in. Well, this is basically the pigment that they use. And so if your water is too alkaline, if the cooking environment is too alkaline, the, the water will turn this really odd sort of blue-green color. And so you need to cook with a little bit of acid, lemon juice, or, um, you know, with lime juice or vinegar you know to 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 put it on the nice pink pink red side i mean i find the turquoise a little bit off-putting in the food so yeah but such an exciting new variety um and it's from fedco um so i highly recommend it all right thanks a lot for watching